In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to password protect any files, folders, documents, images, uh, anything that you can load on your computer. I'm going to show you how you can password protect it. Not only that, but how you can hide it also from being seen from anyone else. And you can see here I have on my desktop a folder called Super Secret Stuff. And it is an image, a Excel file, a text file, and a Word document. Now, what you want to do first is you want to download a tool here at this website. It's lockmyfolder.com. The link's also under the video in the description box. If you click on it, it'll take you straight to this page. And you can download a free trial of the software by clicking this green button. There's a, um, you only get so many days to use it, and it also restricts some of the features, uh, which is why I went ahead and bought it, and I absolutely love it. And you can get all kinds of additional information on this page, too, about the product if you want to check it out for more details before you do download it. But that's lockmyfolder.com. And this is the software when you get it loaded, and it's super easy to use. Basically, you can add files to uh, to password protect them by dragging them and dropping them in here. Um, you can encrypt the file by uh, clicking on it and then choosing one of the files or you can right click on a file or folder and have it encrypted that way. Uh, for example, let me open my folder back up and we'll just go ahead and do it that way. If I right click on this Excel file it'll tell me here that I can encrypt it and the software also allows you to shred files so if you want to permanently shred them so where they can't be recovered uh, that feature is also available in this tool but we're going to encrypt this so I'm going to click that and it's going to ask me here for a password and basically this is the password you're going to have to know if you want to access this file and so I'm just going to put something real easy in here and then you're going to choose your strength whether you want normal high or highest and this is the highest level is 256 bit which is um, like military grade um, encryption I guess and the the highest level of encryption is not available in the trial version and that's one of the reasons why I bought the software so I could have that because I have a lot of business documents that I want to make sure that um, are not accessed and also you can choose to keep the file visible on your desktop or wherever you keep it on your computer but you won't be able to access it unless you know the password or you can hide the file so where it's not visible anywhere in the computer except within the software itself and of course you still have to know the password with that too and so I want to keep it on local and I want to click encrypt and let's go back in the folder and now you can see here that this document has a little lock symbol beside of it which means that it has been uh, password protected so if I try to access the file it's going to tell me that I need a password to access it and then it's going to tell me if I want to uh, set the mode on browse temporary or complete and what this means is if I select browse it's going to let me open the file then when I close it it's going to automatically password protect it again if I choose temporary and open the file it's going to give me the option and ask me what do I want to do when I close the file do I want to password protect it again or not or I can choose complete and that will completely remove the password from the file and so if I want to password protect it again I have to add it back um, to the software and so I'm just going to do completely um, decrypt it and you can see that that lock symbol is now gone and so that's how easy it is to use this software. And now when you do password protect it, anything that you password protect is going to show up here. And this is where you're going to see everything. So let's uh, encrypt a file this way. And we'll do an image this time. And give it a password. And this time I'm going to hide it and encrypt it. And you'll see it shows up within the software and it tells me where it's at. It tells me the level I have it set for encryption and whether it's hidden or local and whether it's encrypted or not. And so if I go back to my folder, you're going to see the image file is not shown in the folder now. And so let's bring the software back up and I can right click and decrypt it. And when I do that, Let's bring the folder back up and you'll see the image is now showing back again. So not only can you password protect files, but you can hide them from being seen anywhere except within the software. And within the software you can go to your settings, to your security, 
and you can run the application with a password so you can set up, set up an application for the software itself so nobody can open the software and see what files you have encrypted so super great software you can select different skins um, you can save the decryption history and this is where you can set to if you right click a folder or a file you can encrypt it or even shred it and then you can select the icon to show up as what you want whenever a file has been encrypted and so this is how the software works really easy like I said you can also shred files and you can even protect whole hard drives uh, by simply selecting them and uh, and then giving them a password protection code also and it's going to protect the whole drive so great software if you want to check it out and get more details go to this website it's lockmyfolder.com and like I said don't buy it first check it out see if it works for you by downloading the free trial obviously there's no need to spend forty dollars on something if it's not really what you're wanting but you can get a lot more information about the product here also <clears throat> also and a lot of information and how-to guides that I think uh, will probably help you out tremendously if you're looking for ways to password protect folders and other files.